जय जय Hey everyone, it's JJ from Wondershare Filmora here to empower your inner video creator. Have you been looking for a new technique to try in your videos? Well, you're not alone. One of the top directors, Wes Anderson, has developed his own identity over the years. You may have spotted his style in famous movies such as The Grand Budapest Hotel, The Royal Tenenbaums, or Moonrise Kingdom. Wes Anderson movies tend to feature quirky filming techniques and deadpan acting humor. Some of these styles are so distinct that it's easy to recognize while others tend to be more subtle. From visuals to storytelling, some directors use quirky filming techniques to master a style. These techniques are not exclusive to Wes Anderson, however, they have been made famous by his recognizable style over the years. As you saw in the skit, in this video, we're going to talk about Wes Anderson's unique filming style and tips on how you can replicate them in your own projects. First, let's talk about the benefits of having symmetrical composition in a shot. Not only does it make a quirky world feel like it has order, it also helps the audience understand the story. In our case, it allows us to display the subject in an unrealistic but interesting way. For this type of filming, try to look at each frame as its own picture in a photo album. You have the option to fill the frame with plenty of set decoration, or you can keep it empty to create a feeling of isolation and a lonely mood. Depending on your camera, you may have the option of adding a grid to your monitor, which would make it even easier to capture a symmetrical shot. To get a perfectly even shot, place your subject on these lines or in between them. But how can we move from one frame to another symmetrical frame without cutting? We can use a whip pen. So what exactly is a whip pen? It's a stylized camera movement that allows some anticipation and excitement from one shot to the other. Since a whip pen requires a camera to move quickly, we suggest using a tripod as it would make the filming process much easier. Use your tripod to set up your first frame. Then find a reference point to remember the shot. In this example, the reference point would be our actor. Next, find the second frame along with a different reference point. For this shot, it's going to be the teddy bear. If you find yourself struggling or want to increase the accuracy, it would be helpful to place tape on the ground of your first and last camera position to mark your final frame. Now to get the look that we want, we have to pan our camera from the first frame to the last frame in one quick fluid movement. Make sure to keep your body still while filming. Only use your arm to pull the tripod. Okay, now review your footage to see how it turned out. So now that we have our clips ready, it's time to go into Filmora Tents, add some creative twists like color grading and text. First, drag the footage to the timeline and adjust the length of it to your preference. Next, double click your clip and choose a color setting and then click on Advanced. For a quick look, you may select a preset option from the side of the window. But why not make our shot stand out even more by color grading it? The next step will be to click Adjust and then head to the color menu. From there, we can choose a before and after option, and then side by side to see the changes we make right next to each other. Given that Wes Anderson movies feature a distinct color grading, we're gonna create the same quirky vibe as close as possible by following these steps. Now let's spice it up by adding some contrast, vibrance, as well as a little saturation. The bright colors will help in making it stand out even more. Let's keep on rolling by heading to the white balance menu. In this section, you can change the tint of your clip by moving the slider around while viewing your clip. You can tint the clip as much as you want, but the colors may start to look a little unrealistic. However, in this case, it's okay because it's a Wes Anderson inspired video. Click OK once you're satisfied with the outcome. Independent films are all about breaking conventions that we see in average Hollywood films. That's why our colors should look vibrant and less realistic. While most directors stick with realism in their work, Wes Anderson uses colors to pull us out of reality and into his whimsical world. Now let's add a title to our clip that you may see in quirky films. We can go to Titles and then the Plain Text section. Select an option that you like and fits your footage. Now drag it to the timeline above your clip. Don't forget to adjust the length so it starts shortly after your clip. From here, we can double click the title and pick your preferred font. You can also adjust the position if you want to make sure that it's at the center of the frame. Last but not least, let's turn the title into a color that fits your shot. We suggest picking a color that would notably stand out from the existing color within your frame. 
And there you have it! Now you can create some Wes Henderson inspired videos. Once you get the shot that you want with your camera, it's easy to implement that quirky style with Filmora in your videos. Give these tips a try in your next project and see how it turns out. Are you a fan of this unique style? Let us know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. I'll see you guys next time and keep creating. Bye. Many film directors like to experiment with Many film directors like to experiment with various techniques so that until